Hey everyone, my name is Paula. Welcome to Relatively Refined. Today's video is a good old fashioned thrift haul. I have been thrifting the last couple of weeks and I have had some fantastic good luck and I thought I would gather all my finds and treasures together here on the table and share them with you. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna to have to divide this video into two parts. So today will be part one of my recent thrift haul. Stay tuned. Well, let me show you the first thing, because, um, which is this really large basket because I'm going to put some of the other things that I show you in this just to kind of keep it organized. But I found this, this was $5 at my local thrift store. And I actually got it because I'm trying to organize my laundry room. We just have wire shelving in there, which I really dislike. And things don't sit on it properly and they tip over. So it's always nice to have some baskets to corral items and organize them. And this is a nice big basket. It's not terribly deep, so I can see what's in here if it's laundry detergent or whatever, but um, it will hold a lot of items. So that is the first thing that I got. And it's very, very sturdy. I think actually around the top here, this is probably like wire or metal of some kind. So that's my first item was that beautiful basket for $5. <clears throat> and you know, I love a basket. I love a lot of things, but a basket is so handy and they can hide a multitude of sins. So this will be perfect for my laundry room. The other thing that I am a total sucker for is anything handmade. So I was at Goodwill the other day and I found this beautiful hand crocheted, what I thought was maybe a small blanket. It's actually rectangular in shape. Um, they had it labeled as a scarf although I don't really think it's a scarf. Um, <clears throat> it might be maybe a table runner or a bureau scarf, perhaps. Um, I'm envisioning it laid out across the bottom of my bed um, during autumn because it's just this beautiful burnt orange color. But here's what got me. It has a little label on there that says crocheted by Yanni, and then there was this little cross attached to it. Now. I could not resist that. I just, you know, the fact that it was in the thrift store kind of made me sad. So I thought I am going to, I mean, Yanni obviously put a lot of time and effort into this and she sewed this little cross onto the corner um, of this. And I thought I am going to rescue that blanket. So, and I love this color. Orange is one of my favorite colors. It's beautiful. So I have this handmade blanket that I will put probably on the end of my bed um, when it comes time to switch over the house for fall. All right, let's see. Another fall item, speaking of fall, let me get this out. Now, you know I love all things tea related. I probably should have taken this out, oops, out of the bag before I started doing this video, but let me get this set up. This little item that I'm about to show you was $1. Now it was in a little plastic um, Ziploc baggie, so it was hard to tell what it was. And I looked at it and I thought that looks like a little tiny tea set. And that is exactly what it is. But look at this, how stinking cute is this? It's the bottom tray is a little maple leaf. And then each of the items is some piece of something from nature. So the little teapot is a pumpkin. There's a gourd for the creamer. There is an acorn for the sugar bowl. I'm gonna set this down for a minute and show you how adorable this is. The top comes off the sugar bowl and it even has a little spot right there for the spoon, which wasn't with the set. So maybe at one point it had it, but it doesn't have it now. And then there are two teacups. They look like grapes with a little grape leaf and then the saucer is a grape leaf and so that's what it looks like i mean this is so adorable i could not leave that behind for one dollar i love it so i will be putting that out for my fall decor and you know it's perfect because i love fall and i love all things related to tea so that 
is the perfect little decorative accent for my house. Okay, well, speaking of tea, let us let me show you some of my tea items that I've found. Um, one of these things, let me show it to you, is was on my sort of thrifting holy grail list. I have so been wanting a copper teapot with one of these blue porcelain handles and tops, and I have never, ever seen one at a thrift store. And I was at Goodwill the other day and I went down the aisle and I, there wasn't really anything. And I thought, well, I'm gonna just kind of take one more pass by before I leave. And when I went back up, this was sitting there on the shelf. They had to have just put it out or it certainly would have been snatched up. And believe me, I did snatch it up when I saw it went right in my buggy, but isn't that beautiful? And the top comes off. Oops, I hope that wasn't too loud. And it's really actually pretty clean on the inside. There's the bottom. And I absolutely love it. And I will be setting this on my stove and I can cross this off my thrifting holy grail list. Um, this next item I did actually did not get at a uh, thrift store. I got this um, from a woman on Instagram. Her name is Sam and she has an Instagram account called Blueberry Vintage Company. If you don't subscribe to her, if you're an Instagram person, go on Instagram and subscribe to her. She has the most beautiful little Instagram feed. She does thrifting. She lives in Maine, which is one of my favorite places. And if you haven't seen my sister Patty's video about her trip to Maine, I'll link it here or here, one of these sides. And um, Maine is just so beautiful. But anyway, she thrifts and she collects sort of cottage core style decor. And she does periodic sales on Instagram. And I purchased this from her in one of her sales recently. And it is this beautiful terracotta teapot. And I love it. I think it is so cute. It's the original Suffolk country teapot. Ideal for use at home and on safari. So if I ever go on safari, I'll be taking this with me. But is that not adorable? I love it. So thank you, Sam. And she is at Blueberry Vintage Company, which is so apropos considering she lives in Maine. And then um, one more teapot. I spotted this when I was at the charity thrift shop that's located near my school. And it is this beautiful, red transferware teapot and it has um it's by courier and ives let me show you the back stamp i think it's george washington on it um let me see yeah washington family an american subject from courier and ives prints it's washington at mount vernon and it's by homer laughlin isn't that beautiful now it does have some damage there's a little tiny chip on the spout and the teapot top, it has a chunk out of it. Now, I won't be using this actually to brew tea, and this is really decorative, but it was only $2, and I thought for $2, I cannot resist this. So, I got that teapot. Clearly, I'm gonna have to be doing some hoeing out in my house, because I've gotta make room for all my new finds. And you know, that is the beauty of thrifting and the cycle of vintage you kind of upcycle. So you might get something that's a piece that you like or even love, but you know, your taste changes over time, your decor changes and you find something to replace it and you let go of one item and you bring something into your house. So I will be letting go of several items <laughs> to make room for my new finds, but I do love those teapots. Um, along the tea theme, I found this next item, and this is actually going to be a gift for my sister, Patty, and it is a toast rack. Now, it also could be considered a, I suppose, a letter, um, you know, you put letters in there, a mail organizer, I guess, but to me, it's a toast rack. They use these all over England and Ireland, and you, when you, if you stay at a bed and breakfast in Ireland, they'll put your toast in there in the morning, and it's, I love the way that looks. And she has been wanting one of these for a long time. And I was at Goodwill just a couple days ago on the phone with her and I said, oh my gosh, Patty, a toast rack. And so she said, please, 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 um, can I buy that from you? And of course I said, no, you can't buy it from me, but you can have it. 
So this will be going to its new home in Vermont. Um, okay. I'm going to make a little bit of room here. This next item I got at the thrift store that is near my school, and it is this teacup and saucer. And it has this really cute whale on it. And on the inside of the cup, it says low tide. And it's very heavy pottery, very cottage core, I think. Um, and it is by um, M.A. Hadley. And that is a, um, a pottery company that makes adorable little things. You can look them up online. But when I saw it, I thought that that was probably what it was. It had, it had that kind of look to it. And this was $2 also at my thrift store. And I love it. And <clears throat> I can't resist a mug sometimes. And so I did get, I found two more mugs that were near this teacup at the thrift store. The first one is this really beautiful black and white print mug. And it has that flower on the inside. And this is made in England. It is Cook Smart is the name of it. But I just loved the beautiful pattern on the outside. And it's a good size. Now, I usually drink my coffee out of a smaller mug than this, but Truy likes a good sized mug. And I love the way the handle on this mug feels. And I just love this beautiful black and white design. So I got that. And that I think was, it was, I, this I think was a dollar. At Goodwill, mom, in my Goodwill, mugs are 59 cents. But at this thrift store, I think that they are a dollar. And then the last mug that I got is this one that has this really cute flamingo on it. And it has this gold detail around the top. And this is Sarah Miller London for Port Marion. And I just loved, again, the simplicity of this design. It's very elegant. This is a little bit smaller, so this will be perfect to drink my coffee out of. And I love the flamingo design. Um, let me see. Okay, also um, at that same thrift store, I found this um, switch plate cover and it is porcelain and it has blue and white flowers on it. And you know how I feel about blue and white. You can see right over here, right there. Um, I love blue and white. And so I thought this was so pretty and just doing something simple like changing out a switch plate cover to something that has a little bit more um, personality can really uh, can elevate the whole feel of a room so this was a dollar so i picked that up i don't know which switch plate i'm going to change out but it will go somewhere and i love it i wish there had been more i would have gotten them also right near the switch plate cover um, for 50 cents and it still has the tag on it this is is a hook and it's a little leaf at the top and then the hook part is a porcelain knob and so you know you would hang it against your wall and you could hang an apron or something. And that's kind of how I envisioned it, hanging in a kitchen with my apron hanging off of it. I thought that was so cute for 50 cents. And let's see, from Goodwill, I found these two salt glazed, I think that Salmon Falls salt glazed pottery. These are apple bakers. We had these when I was a little girl. My grandmother had these and you take a uh, like an apple. We used Macintosh because those grew in Vermont um, and you you core it and you peel it down a little bit and you stick it on that little spike there and then you pour some like brown sugar and butter and cinnamon over top of the apple and you bake it in the oven until it's soft and it is so good. You eat it with vanilla ice cream or whipped cream and it's delicious. And so these were $1.99 a piece and I love them. Salmon Falls Apple Baker. And I love the, I think it's called the blueberry pattern on the outside around here. Isn't that beautiful? There's a little bit of a raised detail. Those um, little blueberries are kind of raised up, but I thought that was so pretty. I love those two things. Um, I'm going in really totally no order whatsoever. This is random. So um, at, this is also, uh, this is at, not at Goodwill, I don't believe. No, nope, this was at the um, my charity thrift store. I found these red spongeware napkin rings. It's a set of four of them. 
And I just love that red spongeware. Isn't that so pretty? I thought, you know, 4th of July with some blue napkins in them, how pretty would that look? So I got those, they were four for a dollar. And um, let's see, um, also for a dollar, I got this little wooden box, uh, recipe box. And that's what it's designed for. You could of course keep anything in there, but I just loved it. And I, I don't know, there's something about a wooden recipe box that is so cozy. And so I think that I'm going to keep any recipes that I have on note cards that are tucked randomly into different things. I'm gonna organize them and put them into this and keep this on my counter because I just love it. Um, okay, also at Goodwill, <clears throat> I found this, um, this brass basket. I thought this was so pretty. Now I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this or if I'm gonna keep, keep it or give it away or maybe um, list it on the Poshmark closet that we have. Um, I'm not sure, but, but actually it's, it, to me it's very fall-like. So I'll probably end up keeping it and you know, with some pine cones in it or some little pumpkins in the center of your table. It was $2.99 and I just thought it was beautiful. I love it. And you know, um, brass and copper, you can really warm up your home, especially in the fall. So for, what did I say, $2.99? I think that's what it was, $2.99. I couldn't pass it up. And look at that pretty little detail on either side of the handles. And then the handles look like they're braided. Very pretty. Also kind of in the fall or autumn theme, and I guess that is a little bit of the theme that I have going on here, but um, was this um, pottery, ceramic, uh, kind of casserole dish, I guess, or baker. Isn't that beautiful? This is vintage Watts. Um, on the bottom, you can see it says, you know, oven safe made in the USA by Watts. And it's a hammered ceramic baker. And the inside of it looks fine. I probably won't actually cook food in it, although I don't see why I couldn't, but um, I think I'll keep it to maybe store onions or potatoes in, more for decor or storage on my counter. But I loved the beautiful, warm, earthy tones of it. I thought it was so gorgeous. Let me put that down. Um, then I found this set of coasters and I thought these were so cute. Uh, who is the artist? Warren Kimball, I think. This looks like a Warren Kimball picture. And there are four of them and it says, God, family, country. And I thought these were so pretty. Um, I wish I had had them for the 4th of July, but I did not. But in the future, um, you know, they're very patriotic and summery with the flag and the little farmhouse, but I loved those. And they have the cork back and they're, they're really, really nice. And they were a dollar for the set of four. I mean, I really couldn't pass that up, you know? And now this is, I did pay up for, but um, I thought it was so cool. This I think is probably, it's definitely vintage. It may even be antique. And it is one of those mashers or like muddler. Although I think if you had, um, it's called a chinois, I think. It's like a strainer and you could, you know, put your kind of boiled up food in there and strain it through. Like if you were making baby food or applesauce or really trying to smooth out or strain anything. But I just thought it had a really sculptural look and it, it'll be really for decor. But I just thought this was so cool and smooth. And um, I think this was $7 which at a thrift store seemed like a lot of money, but I'm sure at an antique store, it would have been a whole lot more than that. So I got that. And then these next two items I got, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna use them um, for gifts. They are these two um, beautiful handmade pieces of pottery. It says Jessica on the bottom of both of them. So the same person made both of these. And I thought, wouldn't that be pretty to fill that with some homemade truffles at Christmas time and give these as gifts to, you know, friends and neighbors or colleagues. So I thought it would be fun to collect little bowls that are kind of unique and different and fill them with truffles and give those out as Christmas gifts this year. So these were each only 59 cents. So honestly, it, 
for two handmade items like this, I thought that was a fantastic deal. I hate to even give them, give them away. I love them, but um, anyway, so I'm gonna be on the lookout to pick up some different and unique bowls that I can fill with homemade truffles to give us Christmas gifts. And then I'm just looking around here. I think um, I have a couple more items. Two, really. One is a set of something. But this next item I picked up, this was on the shelf at Goodwill. It is actually a planter. It's vintage. And it is a nun. And she has a cross. She's praying in front of a cross. And I guess that's where you could, you could hang it on the wall. It has a little hole. And you could put, I guess, plants in it. Um, or, you know, dried flowers or something like that. But I picked it up because when I was a little girl, my mother's aunt, um, who was a nun, her name was Sister Ellen Therese. We just called her sister. She was my grandfather's sister. She was awesome. She was a tomboy. She loved to play basketball. She'd be out there, of course, when I was little, they wore the full habit, you know, the black, long black dress and the veil and everything. And she would come and visit us sometimes um, when I was a little girl, she'd visit my mom and dad and us. And she'd be out there with us shooting hoops um, in our basketball hoop or throwing a softball or whatever. She was principal of a Catholic school in Bennington, Vermont. I just loved it. When I was little, I used to love to go to the convent where she lived and hang out with her and the other nuns. They were very sweet to me and um, or go to her school, her Catholic school where she was principal. And sometimes I would just hang out in her office with her when I was a little girl. So anyway, this reminded me of sister and I could not leave it in good conscience on the Goodwill shelf. I just, something about it was just calling my name. It reminded me of so many happy memories that I had to pick it up. She's not in great shape. She does have paint loss and all, but anyway, she reminded me of sister and of so many wonderful, happy memories of my childhood that I had to pick her up. So she came home with me and she will have a place of honor somewhere on a shelf or a table. And I just love her. And then the last item um, that I'm gonna share with you today in part one of my haul, clearly I've had some great luck and have some decluttering to do in my house, is this set. Now this is, was a wonderful find. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting is is tough this time of day. This is kind of overcast. So if the lighting's weird, I apologize. But anyway, it is um, this vintage Denby pottery. Okay, I saw this on the shelf and it was not all together, which is the weirdest thing at my Goodwill. They had the cups in one spot, the saucers in another, and then I got some bowls. So it is this beautiful Denby pottery, and I don't know if you can tell on camera, but these stripes down here are kind of greeny blue, and this is a really dark, dark navy. It may look black on camera, but it's actually blue, and the saucer is blue. So I got, unfortunately, just three cups and saucers, because I looked all over and could not find the fourth, but I did find six of the bowls. So I'll show, here's a stack of three of them and I love the bowls, aren't they beautiful? And Denby pottery is very, very expensive. If you were to buy Denby right now, it's, it's very pricey. These were all 59 cents each. So I got all 12 items for something like $7. I mean, a tremendous steal and I love it. So this was my prize of the day for thrifting. Okay, I'm just sort of scanning around. <laughs> I think I have shared everything in part one of this haul with you. And as you can see, I really have had some tremendous luck thrifting recently, and I have a lot of decluttering to do. So some of the stuff that I will be decluttering will show up on our Poshmark shop. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description box for that. And I will, um, try to insert any footage I have of what, the way I style some of these items if I have them styled before this video airs. So thank you so much for sticking with me today for this haul. If you enjoy this kind of video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, we would love for you to do so. We've had a lot of new subscribers and we are thrilled, but we think we have the most wonderful subscribers in all of YouTube. 
We love all of you. The comments that you leave us are so thoughtful. We try to respond to every one of you. We think of you honestly as friends, um, which is strange since we've never met you, but kindred spirits anyway. So we appreciate all of the love and support you have shown us in this channel. We are just three sisters who are kind of <laughs> middle-aged ladies stumbling through this world of technology, but we have certainly been having a good time. So we would love to have you subscribe. Also, we have started a website. We have a website and I will insert a little footage here on the screen of what it looks like. It's relativelyrefined.com and there's a blog on there. So we will try to put a blog post up that kind of mirrors whatever the video for that week is. Um, and the reason for that is if there's a recipe or a particular product, we will have that all linked in the blog and you can go back and just check the blog rather than having to try to sort through and remember which video it was in. So that blog or website will be linked also down in the description box. And um, on the screen, I'll put a little bit of you know footage from what the website looks like. So we're excited about that. That is a whole other adventure into technology that is a humongous learning curve for us. So have some patience if it doesn't work as well as it should. Um, we are working all the kinks out, but we are excited about that. And stay tuned now for our Relatively Refined segment where we will share some of our viewers' thrifted treasures. All right, everyone, thank you so much for sticking with me. We love you. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Welcome to Relatively Refines, where we share our viewers' thrifted treasures. Today's treasure comes from our viewer, Arlene. Arlene found these gorgeous silver-plated items for a steal. The pedestal candy dish is Gorum. It's absolutely stunning, and she paid $3 for it. And they go anywhere from $25 to $35 online. The silver-plated bud base is unmarked, and she paid $2 for it, and it is just lovely. And then finally, the bowl was $4, and that is a Taunton Silversmith's Sheridan Bowl. It's absolutely gorgeous and that goes online for somewhere in a $30 range. Absolutely gorgeous finds, Arlene. And by the way, those strawberries that you see in that pedestal candy dish, Arlene made out of her mother's chenille bedspread. Aren't they precious? I love them and I cannot wait to try my hand at making some of those. Another treasure that Arlene is sharing with us today is this beautiful a ceramic pitcher or porcelain pitcher. It looks almost like a Limoges pitcher with the apples on it. She said she could not pass it up and it was $2.99. I would not have been able to pass that up either, Arlene. And it will look perfect, as she said, in September in a display. Thank you so much, Arlene, for sharing these beautiful treasures with us. I love each and every one of them. If you would like us to share one of your thrifted treasures, send an email to the address on the screen and we will be happy to include it in an upcoming video. All right, everyone, Hazel's whining and that's my cue to end this video. So take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.